Well guys, I finally did it. Got myself a new truck. Went diesel, went 2500, she's a beauty. I'm just kidding, this is a rental vehicle. Welcome to Shreveport, Louisiana. It is like 24 degrees Celsius and it's eight in the morning. We got a whirlwind little tour plan for you. We're headed to a place called S3 Power Sports, meeting with a guy named Dustin Jones and we are picking up a shiny new Alumacraft boat. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. Well, we've made it to S3 Power Sports. We're looking for Dustin. We're looking for a man with a mullet. A man with a mullet possibly bigger than me. Well, my mullet isn't that big, but I think we're at the right place. I hear some loud machines. Look at this thing. We found the man with the nicer mullet than me, <laughs> Dustin Jones. We've been nice working to meet on you, this man. Bay. Nice to meet you, buddy. We've been working on this bad boy for years. That's so. beautiful. You. He had a mullet probably before mullets were cool. Now mullets are in style, so I don't know, you might have to shave your head or something. No, no, I think I'm the one that brought it back Yeah, you style. brought it back. So, since the 80s country music, it really wasn't a thing, but yeah. I see yours is getting a little fluffy It's in the back. getting there, yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. Where are we right now? So we just walked into what we consider like the race shop and the custom shop. So we just literally cleared everything out because we're getting ready to set it up with a bunch of new electrical stuff. But, nice. Um, this is where we do all the custom car builds, all the race prep, getting all of my race cars ready. So, so you race a little bit. Give the, give the viewers a little background. What do you, in like 30 seconds, what do you do? So I'm an off-road racer, factory racer for Can-Am. So I race the new Can-Am X3 side by side. And just some of the notable accolades, I've won the world championships. I'm the only racer to ever win the mid 400 three times twice back to back congrats i just saw you one recently Dude, just a couple of months ago so we're just coming off of that big win so a uh, lot of racing experience factory can am racer and then besides that we grew up in the mud and like all you grew up in treefort oh yeah nice right here in louisiana grew up in the swamp so all we know how to do is mud ride amazing we got a bow waiting Dude, I woke up this morning because we just flew back in from out of town in a brand new Alumacraft boat sitting here. <laughs> That's nice. I was thinking it was going to us like a John boat. Dude, this yeah. is no John boat, right? Well, give me the tour of the rest. We'll, yeah. we'll look at the boat later. Yeah, so usually I wouldn't walk around this place because our shop's pretty big. I would usually jump on a pit bike. <laughs> We'll have to find another one for you to ride. But right now we've got all of our customer cars lined up. Some of these are getting race prepped. Some of these are getting fully built. Yes, the messiest area in the shop is my race shop. This is your corner? Yeah, so I've got the brand new Can-Am X3 that we're just fixing to tear down. Wow, you're just pulling the wrappers off of it. It is brand, brand new. It's never even been started. So this one won't even get started. It's gonna get turned straight into a race car. Really? Sure. Wow. So you get to show up and take a rental. I don't know if you treat rentals like I do, but uh, how do you treat them? Not good, <laughs> not good. So this one's got to go back in one piece. If you break uh, it, you buy it. So if you want a Canyon Outlander, oh do boy, whatever you want. I mean, I do want one. met Dustin, visited S3 Power Sports, super, super cool place. There's a lot going on there. Uh, great people, great Southern accents. Um, Dustin is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited to hang out with him. We got the boat, we need to put a little gas in and it's nine o'clock. So we're gonna have a couple hours to scout, to pre-fish. Anyways, we're headed to the lake, we gotta fill some gas and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I'm here, what's going on and who Dustin is. All right, so here's the deal. We're at a place called Muddy Bottoms ATV Park. Stepping a little bit backwards, there's a parent company called BRP. They own Manitou pontoon boats. They own Alumacraft boats, which is a recent acquisition for them in the last couple of years. They own Can-Am, they own Sea-Doo, they own Ski-Doo, massive, massive company. Anyways, we're doing a cross collaboration. So they're taking one of the Alumacraft pros, me, and a guy named Dustin Jones, who's a pro on the Can-Am side. I'm taking him fishing for a day. He's taking me off roading for a day. And this Muddy Bottoms has a mudding park and amazing ATV trails. He says some of the best in the country. I met Dustin, you met him not too long ago. And some private fisheries. We're gonna catch a big largie, we're gonna catch some pan fish, and we're gonna get things dialed in for tomorrow when we bring Dustin out. So enough talking, um, we got a lot of gear to dial in. Oh, it's big. 
Oh, that's big. First fish. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, baby. Get out of the wood. Get out of the wood. That's a big one. Oh, 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 oh. oh, baby. Let's go, Louisiana. Unbelievable. Throw him in the well. Let's go. All right. Man. It was worth taking the Lumacraft down to Louisiana. That's, if that fish was not spawned out, that'd probably be a six pounder. I don't know. So good. We're gonna put in the live one and get a couple pictures, but I am jacked. I just got a big one, first bite, like a five pounder. Uh, I got a flipping jig and a spinner bait. Sure. You want to hop in or? Sounds good. Appreciate it. I, I'm, t you know Dustin Jones? Yeah, oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking a fishing tomorrow. What's your name, by the way? I'm Brad. I'm Brad. I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll take Dustin fishing for a day, and then he'll take me mudding for a day. I just, I'm a little bit intimidated. He's pretty wild, eh? Hmm. I was going to drop on this piece of wood I see right here. Oh, there's a fish in there. Oh, my bait's coming right by him. Oh, there's a school of them. I don't know if they're bass or what they are. There's like three, four big fish in there. Oh, this guy. Oh, I got him. I saw him come down for me. That was so cool. I saw him on the live scope and he just... Oh, good. Good average size in here. Wow. This feels so good after ice fishing all winter. Yeah. Spawned out. No, nah, it's all good. I got the one in the well is bigger. That one's got it's blind in one eye. Oh man. <laughs> oh now I see it. Something pretty pretty serious. No, just whatever it is, whatever the object is. Look at that. No, it's a fish chasing air bubbles, air bubbles probably. <laughs> I like the sounds of that. There we go. That feels decent. That feels big. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a good one. I got a scale yet. Oh, look at this one. Walking to Louisiana, baby. Oh, that's even bigger than my last one. Brad knows what's up. Amazing. We'll throw that one in the well. We'll get a shot of both of them before I put it back. If that fish wasn't spawned out, that'd be an eight pounder. 617. We're gonna put her on the uh, in the live well, the Lumacraft. Unreal. All right, first two hours. Yeah, about two and a half hours of bass fishing in Louisiana. Here's the smaller one. We didn't weigh the smaller one, but I think they're both around six pounds. If this was a couple weeks ago, this fish would be that much bigger. All right, number one going back. Hopefully to be caught again tomorrow. And here's the other one. Just giant, just giants. I spent a week in Texas earlier this year and we didn't have bass fishing like this. Flipping jig with the craw. Um, headbanger creatures, craws. Pretty deadly, you can fish it on one of the rocker head jigs. I was just fishing this on a normal flipping jig now, black and blue jig, like the most standard classic big bass bait. All right guys, so that was me practicing for the, the shoot, trying to get some fish lined up. So I went down there for two days of fishing essentially, 4,000, over 4,000 miles I think it was with all the flights, for two days of fishing. The third day, Dustin took me mud riding. But um, those next two videos are gonna be dropping shortly. I'm gonna be putting the fishing one on my channel. It's gonna be on the uh, Alumacraft channel as well. And then the following video will be me going out mudding with Dustin and that'll be on the Can-Am channel. So the fishing one, even though I didn't produce it, I, I'm super pumped on how it turned out. The S3 media company just crushed it and they said I could put it on my channel. So dropping shortly will be the day fishing with Dustin. So I felt a lot of pressure obviously flying that far and 
all of it being on one day of filming. That's a short amount of time for a fishing shoot. So anyways, Dustin was awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see the actual video. Um, sorry the production was kind of questionable on the video today, but I just wanted to have cameras rolling. I didn't set up all my audio gear, but it just gave you a glimpse into what the trip was. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna end you off with the trailer of the video of the, of the final production that we shot the following day. Here we go. I'm on. We got a good one. I'm Jay Siemens and I'm a, I guess a YouTube fisherman. Oh wow. My name is Dustin Jones with S3 Power Sports Pro Factory k Racer. Dustin Jones is gonna take me mudding. My fisherman physique is maybe not built for this. Something I'm not really familiar with. Do you have some fishing rods that I can borrow? And in return, I was gonna take him fishing. I'm well below average whenever it comes to fishing. Oh, that's a big one. That is a huge one. I, I was nervous being out of my element. Basically, a 10 pound bass. I, I see why you mud ride now. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss this because there's a whole bunch of firsts for both of us. My heart's pounding like a phone book in a dryer right now. <laughs> Dude.